the same thing. Oh, try to breathe in from your nose and breathe out from your mouth when the workout gets intense. So uh, eight rounds for each song. workout. 
So let's go for the second one.
up, water break. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating. Okay, hey, we're going to go for the next, next one. Let's go for our dance monkey one. Here we go with five, four, three, two, one. Yoga stretch. So can 
lie down on your mat or your carpet. That was an awesome workout. So you might find some repetition in our mood, uh, but the effect is still very powerful. So I'm gonna just come to a butterfly leg. Use your hands, grab onto the shin bone. Just feel the hip flexors being stretched open. Smooth out your breathing. Keep the chest lifted, keep the spine upright. See how your body feels. And from here, I'm going to lift up one heel, doesn't matter which side, left or right. We're going to come to a cradle. So place the heel to the opposite elbow, crease, and you're holding your, your, it's your shin bone, your uh, leg, folded leg, um, as how you cradle a baby. Hope you can see me. So you, you just cradle this leg and just breathe. You can move the leg left to right, inside and outside. Just feel the flexibility increase. I'm gonna stay still here. With the leg being cradled. And from here, I'm going to use the same side of the peace finger to grab onto the big toe. And the other hand, I'm going to place on the same side of the knee. I'm going to open up that cradled leg. Just breathe. Breathe through every movement. Just give yourself two more rounds of deep breath here. And slowly going to let it go, release. Gonna cradle the other side of the leg. Oh, someone trying to come in. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna cradle the other side of the leg. So place the opposite heel into the opposite elbow crease. And the other side of the elbow crease, have the knee placed in there and just cradle your leg. More of the lower leg, not the upper leg. <laughs> when you cradle the leg, so a lot of what's happening is that you are opening up the hips. So for women, lots of the times, we hold the tensions around our pelvis, which affect the flexibility of your hips. Especially now we sit at the desk a lot. Just breathe through that softening. Just check with your body. How is your body feeling? Allow your body to talk to you. You can have the cradled leg move left to right to feel more of what's going on with your hips. Now 
We're gonna stay still. For two more deep breaths. Now I'm going to use the peace finger to grab onto the big toe and the other side of the hand just place on the knee for balance. I'm going to open up the leg. If you're not quite there yet, that's totally okay. So just check how your body feels. You can place the hand underneath of your calf. So to support your leg or just straighten out the whole leg to feel the strengthening of the quadricep. So keep your spine upright. So over here, what our body tends to do is to lean back. You're trying to uh, use less of the core strength because that's a bit hard to balance. So try to keep the spine upright to use more of the core strength here and the quadricep strength. So one more deep breath here. And slowly gonna release, let it go. And from here, we're gonna open up both legs as wide as you can. You can use your hand to push the legs out like a big letter V. But just try to reach, imagining you are reaching toward the toes. And keep the spine, try to have the spine upright first. Now we're going to bounce our chest forward and back, forward and back. Let's go for it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Now I'm going to try to have the fingertips placed on the toes. If you cannot yet, that's totally fine. You can place on the shin bone. Just see where your body is at. Listen to your body. What's happening here is loss of the hamstring stretch as well as the spine lengthening. And try to lower down your chest a little bit. Once your legs are straightened, your arms are straightened, so lower down the chest. Just take them all in. Allow your body to be more flexible. And maybe lower down the chest a tiny bit more. Imagining your chin try to reach toward the floor. Just allow it to happen. Just two more deep breaths here. Relax your neck muscles. Relax your shoulders. Beautiful. And from here, we're not changing any position of the chest. We're just going to place the elbows onto the floor and lower down your forehead a little bit more. Keep on stretching those hamstrings. Just two more deep breaths here. Because we're going to lift up our chest a tiny bit and going to place our right hand on the floor and lift up the left arm. Give yourself three deep breaths here. You can close your eyes and tune in inward. 
to feel what's really happening here inside of your body. Going to switch. One hand down on the floor, the other hand lifted. Beautiful. We're going to place both hands down. Going to try to reach the fingertips forward. You can really feel the hamstring stretch a little bit more. Just allow it's happening. I really feel it at the hip flexors as well. Try to relax your elbows, relax your shoulders, relax your fingertips. Just two more deep breaths here. And slowly, just going to walk the fingertips back. Beautiful. Oh, wow. My hamstrings are hurting. Good. Okay, going to bring them in. Come to a diamond-shaped leg. So really softening the, uh, the legs here. Going to thread the hands underneath of your shin bone. I'm going to just relax. Relax your forehead here. And settle in to that inner space. Relax your cervical spine. Enjoy that moment of peace. Embrace yourself here. And slowly going to lift up the chest. Going to come to a windshield wiper. So have the knees pointing toward the ceiling. And the distance of the heels are about mat distance. And just relax your hands behind your hips, either fingers forward or backward, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to drop both knees on one side. And really feel it around the hips, the outer hips. And just breathe through any of the movement. One more deep breath here. Try to have both knees toward the floor a little bit more. And the switch. Switch both knees pointing towards the opposite direction. Give yourself two more deep breaths here. You can really feel it around the outer hips and slowly center your knees now we're going to come to a speedy windshield wiper so have the knees pointing toward the opposite direction come to a speedy one two more beautiful i'm going to bring our chest Center forward and going to twist. So place both hands back. Both hands back and then center your hips. So you're coming to a twist with your upper body and your knees are pointing toward the same direction. I'm going to just smell the heart down. So try to lower down the chest, lower down the belly a little bit more. Two 
Two more deep breaths here. And slowly push yourself up. Chest is lifted. Two deep breaths here. Beautiful. We're going to come back to center. Have both knees pointing toward the ceiling. We're going to twist the opposite side. So place both hands behind and lift up the hip to, to position your hips. So once you find yourself centered, you can lower down the chest. Lower down your belly. Lower it, bring down both knees. You can either also bend your elbows to rest your forehead on the stacked hands. That's an option. There's two more deep breaths here. And slowly gonna lift up the chest, straighten out your elbows, and just stay here for two deep breaths. And slowly gonna center ourselves, bring ourselves back, gonna straighten out the legs. And come to a simple L sit shape. Imagining your spine can be as straight as you can. Just like the letter L. Now I'm going to lean our chest forward. Imagining you are reaching toward your toes. Breathe here. Now we're going to bounce our chest forward and back. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I'm going to fold. Either grab onto your shin bone or the edges of your feet or press onto your toes. Few options here with your hands positioned. Try to relax your neck muscles. The back of your neck is very relaxed. Two more rounds of deep breath here. And slowly lift up your chest. Gonna come to a comfortable seated position. Relax your hands onto your laps. Just scan through your body. How are your shoulders? How's your face, muscle? Are you clenching your teeth? Are you clenching your jaw? Just release any tension and let them go. Noticing where are you holding the tension? Have 
that moment to feel your body. Relaxation is not a skill we are born with. It's a learned skill. Check with your body. Bring the hands heart center. Point your thumbs into the midpoint of your eyebrows, which is our third eye point, where our intuition resides. About to yourself. Thank your body. Thank the intelligence of your mind. Thank your breath. Thank everything that's going on. From my light to your light, namaste. Thank you, everyone. Ooh, I hope you guys are feeling good. Oh, by the way, I'm doing this uh, yoga teaching or the workout teaching for the nonprofit organization. So if uh, you guys feel like uh, donating anything toward the nonprofit organization, feel free to uh, donate on the website. I'll put the website address here. It's a healing uh, connection hc.com so feel uh it's not uh not for any um workout purpose but more for the healing connection is uh more to help uh, uh women and youth to empower uh the community members uh so feel feel free to